Hi, this is my video where I'm going to tell you how to fill out the math vocabulary page for the term unit rate. If you will look in your math binder under the vocabulary tab, you should have this sheet. Okay. If you don't have the sheet, you can, you know, if you're at home and you don't have the sheet, just take a regular piece of paper and kind of draw it or make sure that you at least have these four sections. All right. I'm going to make this bigger here so that you can, I can have room to write and you can see it. All right. The term that we're going to be doing today is unit rate. So get my handy dandy pen out and you're going to write the word unit rate here. That's what we're talking about. That's what section 1-1 one, one is about, unit rate. Okay. Um, the definition for unit rate is a rate in which, and this is the official back of the book definition, uh, the first quantity is compared to one, we can write the number one, unit <clears throat> of the second quantity. Okay. So, um, characteristics are drawing. I was hard, hard for me to come up with something here. You know, unit rate means you've got like something compared to one. So you would say like 55 miles per one hour, or you're going to get a job and you're going to get paid 725 per hour, or um, maybe you have a Fitbit and you have, you know, 10,000 steps per one day. So that's a unit rate, which you're comparing two things, but the second thing is always one. So as far as the drawing, I don't know, I kind of, I think maybe we'll go with a stop so, or a speed limit sign. There we go. Speed limit. Don't judge my handwriting. It's hard on this tablet. Speed limit, 55. Speed limit sign. Going for the whole drawing thing, right? Um, have you ever seen those U-Hauls? You know U-Hauls? They always have a unit rate on the side of the truck. Uh, <laughs> this is bad. This is like a kindergarten drawing. Uh, yeah, U-Hauls. All right. And it'll say something like $29 per day to rent. Okay. Those are examples of things you could draw that would represent unit rate. Okay. Let's move down to the bottom two categories. All right. Examples of unit rate. Well, some of the examples I was thinking of would be, of course, miles per hour. That's a big one. 55 miles per one hour. All right. You could also have a rate of pay. You could have, oh, say, $8.50 per one hour. Like I was saying, if you do steps and you're trying to get maybe 10,000 steps per day. For one day, right? Um, what if you are buying, oh, say, green beans in the grocery store, and perhaps they run fifty cents per pound per one pound? LB is pound, and this is the one here. Okay, those are examples of unit rates. They're all per one. Non-examples would be um, rates in which the second number is not one. So, for example, if I know that someone can run, say, 70 yards in 10 seconds, that is a rate of 70 yards per 10 seconds, not one. So this is not a unit rate. All right. Or if, say, for example, you can get 10 pounds of potatoes and it's going to cost you $2.75. That is not a unit rate because the second number is not one. Okay. So <clears throat> if you've got all that filled out in your notebook, then you will get full credit for um, the vocabulary page on Friday. If you're working from home, as, as some of you are, um, you could uh, snap a picture of this with your cell phone and uh, email it to me, and I will count it and put it in progress book for you. So I'll be looking for this page to be in your, um, your binder by Friday, tomorrow. All right. 
That's all I have for this video. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in class.